Hey, what's good, y'all? Sebo here, coming to talk to you about Algorand price action. What we have right now, are we on the 30-minute time frame with roughly a one-month price chart pulled up? So the last time we was here, y'all, we identified that the bottom was roughly over here. This was the bottom right there where I just drew the white circle. That's the bottom we identified. Um, I did buy a little bit here, though, roughly here at this level. And then we bounce up, we bounce up, we reach up here, but we did not hit this Fibonacci level, uh, excuse me, not Fibonacci, this uh, this resistance level of about 15 cents, 14. You got to crack over 14, right? So we bounce off. Now, here we are. We're again flirting with 11 cents. If we look at our, we zoom in more on the 30-minute chart, if you're looking for where the trend is, we can see that the trend is here. This is what I'm seeing. So as a trader or looking to buy Algorand, I'm, I'm paying attention. We can also see here. That there's a possibility that we can go up on the 30 minute chart. Excuse me, let me redraw that here due to this uh, crossing, but I'm a little unsure because the momentum to the downtrend side is so much. So, what we're looking for right now next is to see where Algorand goes in relative to this downtrend line and if any of these moving averages go cross back over to the upside so let's look at one hour chart if you look at the one hour chart we're still in the same predicament last time i drew this angle here we broke under now we're heading in the direction where i drew this line we're on that downtrend so bulls not here right now let's go to the four hour chart see where they at four hour chart I also see I see a little bit of green, but not much bulls. I'm still looking. We're not seeing much action in terms of our MACD crossing over the signal line. So what we're going to do is continue to watch and see what plays out relative to the upside. We ain't making no moves. We're just watching this one. Again, we know the charts beat up, but this was the zone we drew last week. We want to watch. And if it breaks out here, that's why I drew these candles, it's going up. Otherwise, it's still under the 89 and 55 moving average. We're in a range. We're going to watch the range. We're going to see if it goes this direction or this direction, y'all. It's as simple as that today on this video. We're trading in a range. We could be in this range for a few months as well as we back and forth retest the bottom or the breakthrough. Let me know what y'all think in the comments below. Talk to y'all in the next one. Peace.